we're going to have a look at some statistical functions, FV, PV, and PMT. And the first of those that we're going to look at is FV. Now, FV stands for future value. And it gives you the future value of an investment. It's a standard function. And it has a number of arguments. And I'll explain what those arguments are now. So FV is future value. In order to calculate that future value, we need to know what the interest rate is. So the first argument is rate, which is the interest rate for that period. The next argument is NPER, and that is the number of payments you are making in a year. Next argument is PMT, and that is the value of the payment that you are making for each period of the loan. You can't change that over the period of the investment. Um, the next argument is PV, which stands to the present value. So, for example, you might be uh, making an investment and you're putting down a lump sum at the beginning of that investment. Uh, the next one is type, and type is... Um, it's an indication, it can either be zero or one, and it indicates when the payment is due for that period, either at the beginning of the period or the end of the period. Now, I'm not going to get into the rules of accountancy and how interest rates are actually calculated, just how to use this function given the data. So I've got some data set up. I've got an interest rate of 6%. I'm going to be making 10 payments of £200 each. Each payment is £200. I'm going to put down an initial deposit of £500. And because we're indicating one there, it says that the payment is due at the beginning of the period. So let's have a go at calculating this. We do equals FV, that's the name of the function, and open our brackets. And remember, we've got this useful screen tip that pops up to guide us through. So the first thing is the rate. What is the rate that we're going to be using? Now, the thing we've got to be careful with, with rates is that chances are the figure that we've got, and that's the one we're going to use, 6% in A1, that is usually an annual interest rate. But your number of payments are monthly payments. So you've got to make sure these two match. If we left things as it were, as it was, then this would be calculating an annual interest rate of 6% over 10 years. But I want it all to be in months, 10 months of payments. So in order to do that, I've got to recalculate my interest rate. Instead of being per year, I want it per month. So I simply divide that by 12. So I've got my interest rate divided by 12. So that it's in the same period type as the number of payments. Comma. The number of payments to be made is in A2. Comma. What's the payment that we're going to make? I'm going to make £200 a month. Comma. I'm going to put down an initial deposit of £500. Comma. And my payment is due at the beginning of the period. Finish off the function. And there that tells me that if I invest £500 and pay in an additional £200 per month for 10 months at an interest rate of 6%, then at the end of that, that investment period, my Monetary return will be £2,581 and 40 pence. The pennies are important. That's calculating the future value. The main thing to remember is making sure that your interest rate and number of payments match. If you use them as they are, that's over 10 years. If you want it to be months, you've got to divide the interest rate by 12. 
What I should mention is why we've got some negative figures here. Without getting into accountancy, it's to do with money going into and out of an account. Any money that you pay out, out, out of your account, is a negative number for accountancy purposes. So because you are paying out £200, that's classed as a negative value. Because you are paying out £500, that's classed as a negative value. The next function we're going to look at is PV. Future value gives the future value of an investment. What PV does, it returns the present value of an investment or more likely a loan. It allows you to calculate what size loan you could have. If you know what an interest rate is and how many payments you can make and what is the highest amount of um, monthly payment you can make, then it will tell you what is the maximum size loan you can have. And it uses exactly the same um, arguments as FV. Let's try this. Equals present value. Start our function off with the brackets. First thing we want is rate. There's our interest rate in A1. Now remember, if we're working on months, we've got to divide it by 12. Comma, the number of payments we can make. There's the number of payments we can make. 10 monthly payments. Comma, what is the value of the payment? Well, I know for my loan, I can pay out £200 a month. Anything that's not bold does not have to be included. So for this calculation, I'm going to be leaving those out. So what that is telling me is, if I know the interest rate is 6% and I can afford 10 monthly payments of £200 each, then I can get a loan of £1,946.08. That gives us the present value or the value of the loan that we can get based on those investment details. And finally, we're going to look at the PMT function, which stands for payment, and it allows you to calculate the payment for a loan based on a constant um, repayment scheme. Again, it uses the same arguments as the previous two functions. In this case, we need the rate, the number of payments, and the present value. So it's just rearranged them each time to be the most important ones in that function. So we can use this to calculate uh, what the value of the payment it is that we need to repay based on the value of a loan. So if we know we need a loan of a certain value, how much do we have to pay back each month? So let's start this with equals PMT. Open our brackets and again we can use the screen tips to help us. First thing is what interest rate are we being charged? And we've got that in A1. Remember, we've got to divide by 12 if we want it in months. What is the NPER, the number of payments that we want to make? Again, we've got that in A2, 10 monthly payments. What is the present value of the loan? We want to loan £500. So that's in A4 this time. Again, FV and type, we don't need to use can do if we want to, but we don't need to. In this instance, I won't. What that is telling me is that if I want a loan of £500 at an interest rate of 6% a year, and I want to repay that loan over 10 monthly instalments, I will have to pay back £51.39 per month, per period. Three financial functions. Um, you can type them in or you can use the, there's FE, click on OK. And this guides you through it. 